All right, last video of this chapter. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the uh, polycyclic system real quick. Okay, so it's not going to be heavy in here. So this one, just listen. All right. So I show you right here. So we have cis uh, decaline and trans decaline. These two are not constitutional isomer and they cannot be converted to each other by ring flip. They are totally different compound, different property. All right. We call this two a stereo isomer. You will learn it in chap next chapter. Okay, so isomers that are different in a range in space, they have the same uh, molecular formula, same um, connectivity, but they are arranged differently. This cis point down and trans, uh, this one kind of straight, straight. Okay, um, a lot of uh, biological compounds, like for example, the chole uh, cholesterol type compound incorporates decaline in the, into the structure. For example, take a look. The red level, the red line, those are decaline. Okay, I think it's, oh. Cis or trans, I'm not really sure, but yeah, they have a decalin in it, right? We have cholesterol, uh, testosterone, uh, estradiol, which is estrogen, estrogen, okay? All right, now, last one. So let's talk about the uh, bile acid. Talk about this at the beginning uh, of the cyclohexane, right? And uh, now, bile acid is not flat, right? Oh, by the way, so bile acid is pro uh, produced and synthesized by liver, right? And uh, it release and uh, help us um, digest uh, fat from the food, okay? And uh, we uh, talked about before that um, all this, this structure are not flat. So this is bile acid in 3D structure, look like that. Uh, there is a hydrophilic side, you got an OS group, OS group, OS group, um, cup, uh, acetate group right here, carbox carboxylate group. This love water right here, water binds to this guy perfectly and strongly with a hydrogen bond, with an ion dipole, right? So right here is good for water. On the back of it, right, this is hydrophobic group, right? Hates water, love fat, right there, right? So I'm gonna, this is a, a, a standard formula. So I look like a flat like that. This is a 3D structure. We have hydrophilic side and hydrophobic side, right? I'm gonna make it, make it a cartoon like this. Love water right here, hates water right here, okay? All right, here's how it works. The cool thing that they not flat, so we have hydrophilic side and hydrophobic side. When uh, we uh, di when we digest food, so fat is around in our body, right? Not not in our body, right? In our stomach, uh, go to uh, your colon, intestine, right, and go to liver. Of course, water cannot dissolve it. If you can't dissolve it, you can't uh, take this guy to the uh, do the reaction on it, right? So we have to get this this fat uh, into solution, into water, into into our blood. To do that. Bile acid play a big role in here. Bile acid play a big role in here. So the the back of the bile acid <clears throat> got um, hydrophobic side, which is love fat. So you uh, interact with the fat, look like a droplet like this, right? This is on the back using London forces, a strong London forces, right? And the cool thing is the outside of bile acid right here loves water. So water can surround it and then carry the whole thing to your blood. Basically, we dissolve it. Right. So basically, what I want to say is, um, bile acid can act like a soap, right? So that uh, wash out the fat on from uh, from your from your body and same thing. But this is inside your body. Uh, the bile acid help us to dissolve fat into your blood into water, and then so we can do uh, our body can metabolize it. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, again, organic chemistry is really close closely related to you, but we just don't know it. Right. It's all around us. Okay. All right. Let's. Um, you guys are doing so much. Uh, so well, all right. So keep it up. I know there's a lot to learn uh, for this course, but I'm sh I I uh, I'm confident that you guys can do it. Okay. And if you have any questions? I'm always here. Email me or Zoom with me. Okay. Feel free to. All right. I'll see you uh, in uh, in the next chapter, chapter five.